Hey guys, this is Emerald Fire. Before I get started, let me say that this is just a prototype. I know it's not really solving the maze on its own right, but it is a step in the direction of what I'm going for. In my last video about my four-way flying machine, I mentioned that I'm trying to build a maze-solving robot. That is, a robot that will solve a maze all on its own without any input from the player. This is the machine that I showed in that video, and this is an intersection for it. If I let it loose here, it's going to go around this intersection and take each exit, which is blocked, so it'll just go to the next one. If I take this intersection piece and use it as a maze block and wall off the areas, knocking some walls down to form a path, this actually goes through the maze all the way. I built up a sample maze here. I will summon in the robot and let's take a look. I'll leave this in a time lapse now. The maze solver is going to go from the blue square in the bottom left to the green square in the top right. As you can see, it got there eventually, but it didn't take the best path. This robot doesn't find the optimal path through the maze. It just finds any path through a maze. And it turns out the algorithm to do that is pretty simple. All you have to do is follow these few steps. Basically, you just hug the right wall all the way through the maze. That means that you always prefer to turn right. If you can't, go straight. If you can't, go left. And if you can't, turn around. So you'd start through this maze, and then you'd have to go left here, have to go right here. At this first intersection, you would prefer to go right. So then you'd go around here, have to go left, can't go here, have to turn around, and go right, and so on. And you just follow this path all the way through the maze to the finish line. These guide rails make the robot do it. My goal, however, is to build a robot that solves a maze without any guide rails, and ideally without these indentations in the wall. I think in order to do that, it's going to have to be a lot bigger and a lot slower. I can't solve it by making this thing any smaller because I don't think this can get more compact than it is. And as it is now, it's already at the piston push limit, so I can't really add stuff to it. So yeah, I think I'll pretty much have to go back to the drawing board. That's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.